It's always been about putting achievement first at Hove Park and, and, and we make no excuses over that. We knew we had to look at the way children learn and, and look at the teaching, the pedagogy and do things differently. And that's when we were looking around for the vehicle. It wasn't about providing boxes and gadgets or toys in the classroom. It was about finding a partner that shared that ambition, that shared that principle of putting achievement first. We spent quite a lot of time looking at um, groups who might provide a service, but we, we knew with JHRS that's what we wanted, that it was about the learning. They're just such a good tool for learning. Everyone's got a smile on their face. When we were first asked to come in to Hove Park to uh, kind of discuss their ideas, Derek Trimmer was very clear on what he wanted to do. He was very clear on that he wanted to really make a difference based around everything else Hope Park are trying to do uh, in terms of their 5A stars to see at GCSE and, and no child failing. As JTRS, what we help them to do is to think about the learning and teaching side and teacher training and where that will go, the financial implications of this and, and ways to finance a project of this scale, but also the technical aspects because all of those things are really, really important and if all those things, three things are done right, the vision can be achieved. One of the things about this school, it is an old build, but it doesn't mean that you can't completely change what happens inside. So we were looking for the TARDIS effect, really. It really does, for the first time, mean that children, regardless of whatever barriers, regardless of what ability they're coming into us, whether they're the highest level of ability or the children who are struggling the most, they've all got the same access. They're all able to work with the teacher at the same level, have their tools in front of them, have the same access to their presentations and be able to make the same progress. And that for me is the most exciting thing. Since the iPads have, I mean, everything, everyone's become a lot more independent. The iPads have helped students find ways of learning for themselves other than maybe a textbook. The head teacher always wanted the school to be a, an amazing school. And it was a really good way of it becoming better. I think iPads make people more confident. Like before, I could have never got up and just showed someone a presentation I've done, but now I can do it perfectly fine. My initial concerns were getting to grips with the new technology and being able to use it confidently with students. The training has been amazing. They've really broken things down. They started off addressing the whole school, but now they're taking small groups of teachers out to look at things more specifically and answer questions that relate to individual teachers' needs. We were really apprehensive because um, we thought we'd lose all the creativity within art and design. Uh, and everyone would be wanting to do everything through iPads and we'd lose a lot of the craft element associated with our subjects. It's not been that way. We had, I mean, you've got artists like David Hockney who was straight on the bandwagon, you think, well, wow, if he can do this, why can't we? Yeah, with Vinti, it's been, it's been such a positive experience. Her confidence has just rocketed. I mean, maybe some of the parents may be concerned that their child will be sitting in front of the screen all of the time on, on the iPads. But for me personally, I don't think that's happened at all. If anything, I'm witnessing on the, on the screen how all these children are interacting together. I think for Hope Park it's, it's exciting, it's very exciting in terms of what they can achieve around learning and teaching, doing things in new ways and actually sometimes doing things they couldn't do before because that's the key with the iPad. The iPad allows teachers to really redefine how they work in a classroom and do things in ways previously they were unable to do because the technology wasn't as accessible, as easy to use uh, or as innovative as it is now. It's really quite exciting to think that through our partnership with JTRS and the work that we're doing with schools nationally and internationally, that we're beginning to help shape teaching for the 21st century. <laughs>